Hello friends. Have you ever wondered, why is the sun's atmosphere so much hotter than its surface? The solar atmosphere, called the corona, is a violent and chaotic region of the sun that can spew out huge explosions of particles and plasma, generating space weather that can disrupt our communications down here on Earth. The American Geophysical Union reports that during Hurricane Irma in 2017, a solar flare made radio transmissions in hard-hit areas more difficult. That is, the solar storm made the terrestrial storm a bit more dangerous. And scientists fear a big enough solar storm could knock out power grids. To answer these questions, and to better prepare for solar storms, we're going to the source of the mystery, the corona itself. NASA plans to launch a spaceship that will travel within 4 million miles of the sun's surface, much closer than any spacecraft that has come before it. The spacecraft is called the Parker Solar Probe. It's named for scientist Eugene Parker, who first theorized the existence of solar wind, bits of matter so energized by the sun that they escape its gravity and spread out in all directions. The launch window for the mission begins this Saturday, August 11th, but it could launch as late as August 23rd if complications or foul weather get in the way. The mission is a daunting engineering problem. As it closes in on the sun, the Parker probe will have to deal with thousands of degrees of heat without melting. After launch, the probe will make its first pass of the sun in about three months. But it will actually take around seven years to dip down within four million miles of the solar surface and get a super close look at the corona. The corona extends outward about five million miles from the surface. During those seven years, the Parker probe will make use of Venus's gravity to alter its orbit, gradually getting closer and closer to the Sun. When the spacecraft does reach its closest approach in 2025, it will be traveling at a mind-warping 430,000 miles per hour and when it's this close to the Sun, we won't be able to communicate with it at all. The Sun itself is a huge radio transmitter, any signals from the Parker probe will get lost in the noise. The probe is equipped with a telescope to take photos of the corona and with instruments to record magnetic activity and charged particles. All these instruments need to operate at around 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a challenge considering the environment they'll be operating in. The temperature of the solar corona is millions of degrees, but the Parker probe won't actually get that hot. For one, while the particles emitted by the sun are super hot, they're not super densely packed together. Think of the difference between sticking your hand in a 212 degrees Fahrenheit oven and in a pot of boiling water. The heat energy in the water is more densely packed, and it will instantly scald you. That said, the Parker probe will still have to deal with 2500 degrees Fahrenheit heat on its closest approach to the sun, which is just about the temperature of magma. Amazingly, Parker will be able to handle this heat. A carbon heat shield combined with a radiation system that runs on water will be able to keep the craft's electronics from burning up. Here's the trick, for this to work, the heat shield must always point in the direction of the sun, if you've seen the 2007 science fiction movie Sunshine, it's a similar concept. The heat shield can't tilt more than one degree in any direction without risking damage to the rest of the craft. The components not covered by the heat shield are made of a molybdenum alloy, which has a melting point of more than 4000 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes 8 minutes for light to reach Earth from the Sun, so that means that communication with the spacecraft is delayed. Once it leaves Earth, the probe will be on its own so it has to be fully autonomous. That means that, to keep the spacecraft's heat shield facing the sun, the onboard computer needs to be pretty smart. So, 
the team outfitted the craft with a special set of solar limb sensors, a first alert system, that will tell the spacecraft if it drifts off kilter and needs to adjust. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell. Give a thumbs up, comment and share.